What's up everybody and welcome back to another math puzzle. In this one, we are asked to find three consecutive two digit numbers where number one, the smallest is divisible by five, the middle one is divisible by four and the largest is divisible by three. And remember consecutive means in a row, like five, six, seven, 10, 11, 12, 25, 26, 27, so on and so forth. Go ahead and hit that pause button and see if you can figure it out. When you're ready, hit play, and I'll give you the explanation. So in this one, it's all about how do we approach this? And we know we got two digit numbers, so we got a limited set of options already. Now, since divisible by five has the least amount of options compared to divisible by four and divisible by three, I'm gonna use that as my first limiting factor. So what are the two digit numbers that are divisible by five? Well, we'd have 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, so on and so forth. Then we notice that the next number has to be divisible by four, and that's gonna be consecutive, meaning it's gonna be one more than this guy. So. What does that tell me? Well, for numbers like 10, 20, so on and so forth, the next digit up would be 11, 21, AKA they would all be odd. That's not gonna fly because there's no odd number that's gonna be divisible by four. So immediately we've cut anything that ends with a zero out, which means our winning solution has to have for divisible by five, a number that ends in a five. So now we can think and approach it accordingly. You've got, you know, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, and 65, and so on and so forth. So we'll just put a couple of these down and then we'll make our way through. And the number next must be divisible by four and the next one must be divisible by three. So here, I know I've got a 16, that's a possibility, right? That's divisible by four. Here, I've got a 26, that's out. Here, I've got a 36, that works. Here, I've got a 46, that's out. Here I've got a 56 and that works. Here I've got a 66 and that's out, not divisible by four. So we've already got some cool options that we can begin with. Let's take it from here. So if we've got 15, 16, the next one would be 17. Guess what, that's a prime number. These guys are out. Next we've got 35, 36, and 37. That lands us at another prime number. That one is out. Next we've got 55. 56, the next one would be 57. So 55 is divisible by five, five times 11. 56, four times 14 gives me that. Is 57 prime or is it divisible by three? It is in fact divisible by three. Three times 19 gives me 57. And if you want a shortcut to figure that out, remember my divisibility rules for three. If I add the digits, meaning five plus seven, equals 12. If I know that 12 is divisible by three, I know that 57 must be divisible by three as well. So my solution is 55, 56, and 57. I hope you enjoyed this math puzzle. And if you did, please click that like button. And if you want to see more math puzzles on the regular, make sure to click subscribe. Thank you guys so much for joining and I will see you in the next video. Take it easy.